Today I'm going to show you how to get ready to leave your camp and be prepared for boondocking. You'll also learn how to clean out your septic tanks. We use a black hose so we don't get confused. And we go to the water source and turn on the water. The hose then fills the black tank with water and that helps flush it out nicely. So once your black water tank is filled, then you can either drive around with some Dawn soapy water in it to clean it extra well, let it sit overnight, or like we're doing today, we're going to um, dump both tanks right away. Always dump the black water first, and you need to make sure that the gray water veils on the right is tight. So pull the black water slowly and watch it dump. We love having a clear elbow so we can see um, how clean our tank is. This is very clean. While you're um, hooking up camp, make sure that your septic pipe is connected very well to the septic tank in the ground. You can use a rock or a foot to hold it if you don't have a secure connection. Once the black water is empty, then you can empty the gray water and that helps clean out your hose. The gray water does take longer than the black because the pipe is smaller in diameter. You can see that pipe is smaller than the black water. To clean out your septic hose, it's a good idea to start close to the septic dump and remove the water and then get closer to your motorhome and remove the water until your septic hose is empty. Slide the hose through the hole in the basement and once again Clear the hose of all water. We have caps to, fit, to cap each end of our hose for storage. Capping the hoses keeps your basement storage area clean and it prevents any odor. From escaping. I suppose it keeps vermin out too. After you've unhooked your hose from the septic, make sure that you close the septic drain. Of course, some people use gloves. <laughs> we do have an outdoor water spigot and we keep soap close at hand. Whoops, you're supposed to shut your water off. <laughs> oh, you silly man. Next, we're going to get ready for boondocking by filling our tank. So you want to make sure that you have zero pressure in the line. So we turn off the water at the source and we open the shower or you can open up a kitchen drain if you don't have an outdoor shower until the water pressure is not there anymore. Then you use your valve 
and I'll say that again, after there's no water pressure in your lines, you turn your valve to a tank fill. They're hard to turn, and you want to hear it click. All right. right. So then um, you can fill your tank as full as you want it. And once it's as full as you want it, you um, set the lever after you've drained the lines back to city fixtures or dry camping.